What is going on everybody? Welcome to another gameplay video. We're sticking with Standard and we're sticking with Four Color Omnath, which is kind of taking over Standard right now. Uh, I know we're less than a week in uh, as far as having Zendikar Rising on Arena, but uh, we've already seen this really taking over in terms of tournament play and just all over the, the place, honestly. Uh, this is a very, very solid deck. There are a few different versions. You can see kind of the one I'm running here runs Terror of the Peaks as well as Ugin and then two Kenrith. Uh, certainly some of them don't run that mentality. Some of them go for like Feldar Retreat, things like that. Uh, but this is the version we're going to stick with today and just give it a shot. Now, I just want to mention before we get too far into this that there are already discussions about whether or not, you know, something in this deck, whether that be Omnath or something else, uh, should be banned. Um, I think uh, Uro is also kind of on the chopping block for that. All of the, there are a lot of very powerful cards in this list. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to find ways to really deal with it. Uh, I do think there are, some, there are some options, but certainly it's few and far between and a little bit difficult. Uh, and so we're going to do the best we can to see what our final thoughts are once we get through our six games and kind of have a more informed opinion on it. Keeping in mind that we are on best of one, we are not doing uh, you know, the, the best of three like a lot of this, this deck plays to. So uh, all that to say, let's kind of go over the deck a little bit. So the idea is to ramp and play a, an extra land almost every turn if we can, if not more. Uh, and then get a bunch of triggers off of Omnath. So Omnath, when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Fantastic. Uh, it does have landfall, but it's very unique in its landfall ability in that uh, the first land gives you four life. Pretty straightforward. But if you play a second e a land per turn, uh, you get to add everything but black to your mana pool. So essentially get the, the cost for Omnath back. Uh, if it's the third time, you deal four damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you do not control. Uh, all of these abilities are very, very good, and I think uniquely good also for the best of one ladder. Obviously, that game for life is going to keep us alive uh, against a lot of the, the low ground aggro decks, which we expect to see there. Uh, and then obviously that second one in particular is going to ramp us into a lot of other stuff, which we have quite a few. Uh, so obviously we're trying to ramp into things like Kenrith, maybe Terror of the Peaks, and then of course Ugin. But uh, also we've just got Genesis Ultimatum, which allows us to go over the top. You can kind of chain these, uh, especially if you've got things like Lotus Cobra out or maybe a Dryad where you can play extra lands. Uh, you play this, get a few lands out, uh, get a bunch of mana out with the uh, landfall trigger off of Lotus Cobra, and then you can either do it again or play something else really big. Uh, so you've got a lot of options there. But in terms of ramp, we do have Lotus Cobra. We've got Dryad for extra lands and also fixing uh, Uro, uh, which gives us an extra land and a little bit of life as well. And then, of course, things like Escape to the Wilds, which allow us to play an extra land. Uh, and then, yeah, essentially just Genesis Ultimatum at the top end. Uh, we do have Bonecrusher Giant here for a little bit of onboard interaction. Really nice at just kind of clearing the way, keeping ourselves alive against those uh, low ground aggro decks. Uh, Terror of the Peaks here is great at kind of finishing off the game. Uh, you play a couple creatures and all of a sudden you can deal a ton of damage. Uh, Kenrith kind of the same way. It's just a really nice, uh, uh, flexible way of kind of dealing with a lot of things. And because we've got the Dryad, we can essentially activate every ability, uh, which is really cool. Uh, Escape to the Wilds, like I said, going to look at the top five cards, give us some options to play with, which is good. And then, of course, at the top end, that Genesis Ultimatum, but also a one of Ugin uh, as a way to kind of clear some board presence if needed and then just provide another option for win. Uh, we do have uh, 28 lands, I believe. Yep. I'm not going to go through every single one, but you can see we've got quite a number of them. Uh, in playtesting the first game, I've only played one game with it. I did run into a small issue where I uh, essentially just kept running into tapped lands. <laughs> uh, I had like three of the tri lands and then um, like a, a couple of temple of mysteries, things like that. Um, all of which are perfectly fine, but it just slowed us down and we were against mono red. Uh, we still were able to pull that game back, uh, which is pretty awesome. So we're going to see what we can do here. Uh, I really like this hand actually. So we will keep this. This gives us a very, very nice little play here. So uh, I do apologize if frame rates become an issue. It looks like they're already going to be, but uh, we just, unfortunately, network has been a little bit lacking lately. Um, so hopefully, Prince of All Magicians, which is the person we are against, uh, doesn't have too many issues as well. But if it gets bad, we'll just jump into a new game. That's perfectly fine. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's throw this out there. Uh, don't think we need to make this decision quite yet. I love these new flip lands, by the way. Uh, this is something I wanted to talk about a little bit, uh, is 
the the effect that these lands uh in particular with they with sorceries or creatures or main spells on the front end uh the the effect that they're having is really really potent um for multiple reasons and i think in multiple areas uh limited especially i would argue uh just because you have options you have so many options uh and that's a really nice place to be if i'm honest um so here we can actually get omnath down uh which is pretty awesome um Looks like we're just kind of against a maybe a mono green stompy or adventures kind of list, um, which is a very good list. Uh, but hopefully we can outpower it, especially with uh, getting Omnath down pretty quickly here. That's very good because it does kind of stop us from doing too much. But let's uh, let's do this and let's go ahead and get Omnath down. Just getting this ramped in is huge, and then of course drawing an extra card here. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what the opponent can do. Uh, next turn, not exactly sure what we want to do. We definitely need another land here uh, if we can help it. Um, Bokosher Giant, not really what we're looking for. It's not bad, uh, but it's definitely not what we're looking for. Uh, and unfortunately, we just don't have lands here. So uh, we may be in the boat of needing to kind of throw something at this. Uh, the other opportunity is we could just play the Dryad here, um, which I do kind of like. Let's do that. Uh, and I'm not going to attack, obviously. Uh, land would be great, for sure. Uh, an untapped land in particular, because then we can escape. Uh, and if we can escape, we're well set up to be able to do a lot of other things. So we do take a hit here. That's fine. Not too worried about that. Uh, and again, being able to gain four life just makes taking five not quite as bad. Um, but ugh, here we go again. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, in a deck of 28 lands, we are not getting them. Uh, so let's just play another Dryad and move move on. Um, trying to think what the best play for us will be. Okay. That's good. Um, I think I'm going to do this trade-off here. Um, because we do have a second one in hand. Uh, and I don't particularly want to trade any of these off. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what happens. We need one good turn here. Unfortunately, had we hit a land sooner, I think we would have been in much better shape. But we're just... Oh, man, we are not getting there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Um, we can block and last another turn, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. <clears throat> we can't even play an Omnath there, which feels really bad. So I think that was just... Uh, being mana screwed a little bit. I don't think that was necessarily the deck. 28 lands is almost half the deck, so that was a little unexciting. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two and see how we do. Uh, also, I just want to mention, guys, if you missed the stream yesterday evening, uh, that was the kickoff stream for the JDC Season 3. Really excited about this season. We've got a great group of people. Lady Ziggy uh, from our Discord is in there. We've got Card Sphere taking part. Uh, Doug is going to be the team captain for the Ottawa Bears there. Um, I'm the team captain for the Crabs, which is great. And then uh, we also have the team captain, Alex, for CEDH TV. Um, and he's uh, he's obviously our one of our past presenters as well, or co-hosts. Uh, very awesome dude. Also our moderator. So absolutely happy to have everybody there. It's going to be a great time. I do recommend if you're interested um, checking out that stream. It is uh, just on our channel. You can check it out now. Um, you can, you probably have to skip a few minutes in cause I left up a little bit, but, uh, it's, a uh, it's a really fun time. We did our first round drafts for this week, which is big enchantments. Mine is Oath of Teferi, <clears throat> which I'm an idiot and went for Oath of Teferi over anything else. I don't know why, uh, but here we are. Um, so hopefully it works out. Um, cool. And we'll pass here. Uh, don't particularly want to crack that Fabled Passage. If we draw like a Lotus Cobra, we can get extra mana off of it. Um, and so it's kind of worth it to hold on to those. We didn't there, and that's fine. Um, so let's do this. I am going to leave up that uh, Fabled Passage, though. I think it's worth it, too. Um, we'll pass here. Uh, what's nice here is we can instant speed gain four, essentially. Uh, we can just gain four life anytime we want, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and do that now. 
Just get a red source, that's fine. And we get to draw a card. Um, can't be too mad about that. We're definitely going to play this out. Um, let's play this. Let's put that on the bottom. I don't think we particularly want that right now. Play this out. Six, seven. So next turn we are in Genesis Ultimatum territory. We do have to be careful. Uh, Bant control, I'm assuming that they've got some amount of counters. Uh, so we do have to be a bit cautious there. But okay. Or they just have this. That is very, very good. Uh, okay. Well, let's Genesis. Whoops. There we go. So this is a sweet play um, for multiple reasons. <laughs> This is why this is so good, by the way. <laughs> um, we'll play this out. Uh, we can just go for red. That's fine. We'll go blue. We'll go blue. Uh, this is why this is so good, because now we just get to Genesis Ultimatum again. <laughs> yep. And we still haven't played a land from our hand this turn. This is why this is, like, stupid, guys. <laughs> uh, blue, 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 and green. Uh, I think we just do it again. Um, <laughs> ooh, Terror of the Peaks. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, we'll keep this one, actually. We're just going to hit them. Oh, I love it. This is too good. Uh, this is, like, broken, obviously. Um, shoot them a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep this one. Going to hit them. Whoops. And now we just get to play a bunch of lands and let things happen. This is insane. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's fine. Doesn't matter. And there we go. We hit for four. <laughs> uh, well, that was really good. Um, that's exactly what this deck is great at. Uh, as, as you can see, when it works, it really works. So that uh, was awesome. Really enjoyed that. Let's uh, jump into game three and see if we can make it work one more time. Wow, that was great. Look at all that. Oh, how wonderful. Let's open a pack really quick. Um, we've opened a lot of this set already, I'll be honest. N knowing that the JDC was coming and new decks needed to happen. Wow, that's how... What? Um, knowing that the JDC was coming, I went ahead and opened a bunch of packs uh, just to prepare. But, man, this deck is very good. Um, unfortunately, we got, like I said, we got mana screwed the first time. Can't help that too much. But uh, that second game, holy crap, that was good. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, do we keep? I think we do. It's a bit slow, uh, no doubt, but I think we'll keep it. Uh, what's nice is we've got a little life game with this Uro here. We can also just lean on the Dryad if we find ourselves we needing just a blocker, which is perfectly fine. Uh, there's the Genesis Ultimatum, which is obviously a huge, huge powerhouse here. Uh, Kenrith supplies kind of an insta-win, by the way, with the Genesis Ultimatums, uh, once you get to the point where we were last game. Uh, just because you've got so much mana, you can, you can essentially do anything. Um, we'll play Land Pass. Um, ooh, Croxa, huh? Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna ditch Escape. Uh, don't know if that's good or the Kenrith. I kind of want everything else, so I don't really like the idea of ditching anything else. Um, and maybe that's wrong, I'm not sure, but I think, <laughs> wow. Sending a message, I see. Uh, we'll play this for green. Play this. And we'll play this. And again, I'm gonna not crack the Fabled Passage quite yet. I actually want to hit that fifth land pretty pretty consistently here because we do have Kenrith. Um, and so I I'm actually happy to just kind of draw one here. Oh, well, that's good. Sure. 
You got me. Um... I assume they're going to make us each sack a creature, which is going to get rid of the Dryad here. And we discard a card. Okay. How many cards? Um, I'm going to get rid of a Genesis Ultimatum. Don't love that, but we're going to do it. All right. Well. Let's do it. It just allows for so many things. It's crazy. Um, all right. They discarded a Croxa. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm going to say no blocks. Let's see what they do. They may make us each sack a creature. Yeah. Look at that. That's very interesting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get rid of Uro. They had a Rada. Okay, interesting. Um, hmm. Don't love this position. These rankles are very difficult to, to deal with in this deck, uh, unfortunately. Well, that's efficient. Um, they make us each discard a card. That's Genesis gone. Um, but they're also out of cards in hand. Let's scry here. Hmm. One, two, three, four. That does get rid of uh, Lily. It's fine. Uh, keeping this so I can nuke this Lily. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now also. All right. Uh, that also gets it out of our hands so Rankle doesn't, doesn't peg it. All right. Uh, good thing here, this does kind of mitigate the damage uh, here, unless they just make us each sack a creature, in which case they could get rid of Rankle. Um, but this obviously can come back, so we'll see what they want to do. They may just ask us each to draw a card here as well. That's a possibility. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we do have Genesis Ultimatum. Okay. Uh, they could play a Croxa, which seems pretty good. Yeah. That's a very good play, uh, just to get around this escape, which they didn't know about, obviously, but just to get rid of a card in hand is very strong. Uh, wow, that's not great. Um, play that out, that's fine. Okay. And here we just get to kind of play a bunch of stuff out. Um, all right, well... I don't love this. Uh, I don't like absolutely hate it, but they also have two cards in hand here. So I'm expecting that they've got a little bit more to do than we do. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, okay, so they are seeing how we block here. I think we'll do this. They might make us sack a card here, like a Dryad would be fine if they want to make us do that. Oh no, they're just going to make us draw a card. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Oh, okay, well, that works too. Um, I'm just going to hit them. Uh, let's deck then. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Sure. Um. I'm gonna do this actually just to draw a card, because we kind of need to. 
And gain some life, which is nice. Uh, we'll keep this one. Alright, uh, that gives us another creature here, which is good. Just to get around um, Rankle. Uh, so they can deal six to us here, but they do have to be cautious because we do have a nice swing back. Um, so I'm not really sure what they will end up doing, but I feel okay about our position. Taken three. Okay, down to 12. Scavenging use is quite good. Um, ooh, they had a Chandra Heart of Fire in this deck? What? That's pretty cool. Sure. They can only eat one more thing, though. Um, and given that we have a row, I'm feeling okay. So we may have to each sack a creature. I'm not really sure what they do, to be honest. Okay. And then make us discard. <laughs> Got him. Haha. <laughs> -ha. That's fine. <laughs> I don't really care. Omnath. Alright, well, let's Omnath first. That seems pretty good. Uh, well, Lotus Cobra. Probably should have waited on that, but that's fine. We're just going to do this so they actually have to block that, and then we can take Liliana down. Not very helpful there, but sure. So they have to block this, and then we actually get to kill Lily. Um, which is nice. So now they don't have the Rankle Lily engine going. I think we're slowly taking this back over, because now we're back up to 15. Ooh, that's good. Uh, granted, they only have one mana available. They can play an extra land this turn, though, so I guess they have three. Is that correct? So they can kill a thing, um, but I don't think that's enough. <laughs> okay. Doesn't seem that great. Um, I'll sacrifice the Lotus Cobra. Maybe it would have been better to sack that, but that's fine. Let's do this. All right, well, we win. Go us. Uh, we'll just keep this one. Doesn't matter. <laughs> there it is. All right, we got there. Uh, two and one so far with this Omnath deck. First game we got mana screwed. Really, really liking it. Uh, definitely pretty overpowered. <laughs> um, I think we'll we'll obviously give it another three games, and then we'll kind of summarize our thoughts and see uh, if we think it's ban worthy. Um, I do think it's very, very good, but I also think that um, you know naturally it's creatures mostly. Uh, and so we do have like control decks and things like that that could certainly take it down, but ooh, nice, look at that uh, but that being said that's not a very fun standard where it's just Omnath and then control decks so we do have to keep that in mind, but regardless, I really enjoyed this one, thank you guys so much for watching, stay tuned for part two very very soon, and I'll see you then, thanks guys